Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about mechanism of blood coagulation. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So blood coagulation is an important phenomena to prevent excess blood loss in case of injury. Blood coagulation pathway contains two steps platelet activation and clot formation. First, let's talk about platelet activation. Platelet activation is also called primary hemostasis. So when there is a cut, the endothelium of blood vessel is damaged and the collagen is exposed to the platelets and platelets bind to collagen. Platelets aggregate at the site of injury. This is also stimulated by the von Willebrand factor VWF that is released from endothelial cells and platelets. Next step is clot formation. This is also called secondary hemostasis. This step is of two types, intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway. Intrinsic pathway, it responds to internal damage to the vascular epithelium. It activates factor 12 to 12A. 12A activates factor 11 to 11A. 11A activates factor 9 to 9A in presence of calcium. 9A activates factor 10 to 10A in presence of calcium and factor 8A. Next is extrinsic pathway. It, act, it is activated by external trauma. Tissue factors are released from the damaged vascular wall. They activate factor 7 to 7A. 7A activates factor 10 to 10A in the presence of calcium. That means both intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathways activate factor 10, right? Factor 10, which leads to the common pathway. So common pathway starts with the activation of prothrombin that is also called factor 2 by factor 10A. Prothrombin is converted to thrombin. Thrombin converts fibrinogen or factor 1 to fibrin. Fibrin monomers polymerize to form long fibrin threads. The fibrin mesh traps the formed elements. Formed elements means uh, different blood cells, RBC, WBC, etc. to form a solid mass that is called a clot. In this way, the clot gets formed. So, this is the Schematic presentation you can see here. Intrinsic pathway, extrinsic pathway both activate factor 10A and then this is the common pathway which ultimately forms blood clot. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.